Welcome to all the Classic Mini enthusiasts. Um, I've done a few bits and pieces on the car, which I'll show you in a second. But um, I've just got this stuff back tonight from this friend of mine in, in Graz, Max. Uh, the one that has 60 minis inside his workshop and probably about another 13 different parts of bodies outside as well. Uh, this is a this subframe, it, it looks like it's brand new but it's been sandblasted <coughs> and he painted it up and uh, <coughs> I was discussing it tonight about uh, uh, this business with the rubbers because I had mentioned to Matt Green who's doing the jet black about these rubbers and I think a, a French guy Aaron mentioned it as well and he's telling me tonight now this guy's got nearly 40 years experience with minis what he doesn't know about minis is really not worth knowing and I'm sure you've heard that before but it turns out that what he's saying is is that these uh, uh, rubbers on the top of these uh, towers are not re are not required because uh, what happens with them is is only up to I think up to he told me that 74 after 74 maybe early 75 they didn't have this type of bolting system it was two it was two bolts they had and there was no rubber in them at all it was just this was straight onto the uh straight onto the bodywork obviously it was different here there was two two uh bolts in it and two um, internal threads and basically what he's saying is is when you use these normally what happens is is they get ripped on the side you can see that one is already i'm using this new light i've got this is a halogen which i showed you the other day um, because i was getting fed up with the wires and it's, it's nice because it's light and, it, and it, uh, you don't trip over things and with the halogen it doesn't get hot like uh, sorry with the led it doesn't get really hot like the halogens do they really get warm although in the winter night they look they're quite nice anyway go back to these so you can see that they rip there uh, I've got another one which has got a rip right the way around it and basically what he's saying is is that if you leave these out because these these go straight down onto it what happens is is um, with this and the rubber on the top of the nut this one you can get nylon and you also mini spares and a lot of other companies make a, a, an aluminium one that just takes the space up and the reason is is that uh, if you think about it, now he's explained it to me, when you tighten that down, you you tighten this against the body. Uh, and I thought this was there as a kind of spacer or to stop the body banging. And that's not the case. This actually, this metal goes right up inside um, those that front bulkhead. But consequently, what happens is, is you get uh, movement here and you get movement here, so especially sideways. And what he's saying is, and it makes sense to me, this guy works for a, a company in Graz. They build the AMG Mercedes, the, um, what are they called, the G wagons? Yeah. And they're a specialized customer order. So this guy really knows his stuff. But minis, he knows more. Uh, he's even unbelievable knowledge he's got. And he's saying to me that when you think about it, if you've got the steering on the bulkhead, which is attached to the car, this is then attached to the bulkhead by these bolts and so and your steering is attached to this front subframe so consequently what happens is is you get movement here possibly as much as uh, as um, three quarters of an inch an inch when you're steering and on on here uh, and without them in and using an alloy washer here he says the steering is as direct as it was when the first came out it really is the, the way a mini should handle, you know, uh, absolutely precise with a little turn of the wheel and, you, and you're moving them. Apparently with this you get a lot of side movement, rocking backwards and forwards. So I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to go without them, but apparently you can get nylon ones, different types of spacers. But he uses just aluminium and nothing in here. So it's entirely up to you, but this guy does know his shit. So it's up to you whether you want to go or not. But as I say, just with, just with uh, if you look at that, I mean it really is nice. And that's just been sandblasted. It's an original subframe, um, but of course they, they never they never uh, get rusty on the front ones because all the engines are always leaking. And this is all the parts he's made up. This is for a second Mini Cooper, which I have in my lower garage, which I've now acquired. Um, the guy I was doing it for was helping him. He was he was helping. He was doing so many hours for me and then I would do so many hours for him so I wasn't charging him. 
but it was 18 months ago that I've seen him and so I've got fed up waiting and storing all the bits I've made him an offer and he's decided to sell it so the car's mine now so I now have two Mini Coopers anyway so um, just to show you what I've been up to on this um, I'll put this light down so uh, today I had a piece that was missing out of there so I built a new piece for it uh, and, and cleaned it all up these when they came th they were quite badly rippled on the corners you know it's not a major thing but I just like it to be nice so I've started to uh, straighten them out a little bit so they look a lot nicer this edge is uh, you can see maybe a bit on the other side excuse me a second you can see a little bit on the other side where where, I've, where it needs to be done uh, you can see there's just a little it's just a little dimp but it's things this one here you can see see how it's not quite formed right so I just put a, a round dolly in there and on there and then just clean that up so um, yeah so that's what we've been up to um, one of the things that I did want to show you is this is the this is the uh, you remember I told you about I don't know if that that will show in that light and maybe you can just you can just see the numbers in it now um, in real life you can see it better there yeah, you can just see the numbers so that's all nicely stamped out now um, yeah uh, I did some of the extra wells down the side there well, there was a piece on this side I wanted to show you and I've forgotten where it is now ah yes no it's the other side sorry it's, excuse me my memory's going I've just got back from Graz and it's a 100k round trip to go and pick up this mini spares and what have you okay so I, I've cut a piece out of here as you can see in the front which I was going to put in and I'm now so, seriously thinking about this top dash rail Car's upside down, obviously. I'm seriously thinking about taking it out and putting a new one in, which you can buy from Mini Spares. Because what I didn't know was, if you look inside there, you can see how bad the rust is there. I might be able to get to it and clean it. The problem is, is where this fold is, where, where this, where this goes round. Um, so you can see. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see how the rust is in there. Maybe. It's like, there you go. Uh, it just looks like it's surface rust, but you know, I'm not sure. So I'm thinking about maybe taking that out because I had to repair the other end as well, which um, um, it hasn't turned out as well as I would have liked. So maybe I'll just put a whole new rail in and I've done with it. And it's quite a big job, but the car's down anyway. But this is something to be aware of that. Um, you know, when you're doing these cars, just, just make sure you have a check in here. And obviously what's happening there is, is water was running down from this edge I know the car's upside down but if you imagine the water's running down there and inside and it's sitting on that uh, on that top or when this was all when this inner wing was all rotten maybe it was getting in through there more than likely from the from the wheel so something to something to look for that uh, this inside of these things it's not really hard to hold that and see it yeah there you go um, at the other end it's been replaced so it's not uh, rusty so I'll see I'll find out what uh, uh, what I can do okay lastly if you're watching tomorrow um, I'm gonna do a little test and what I'm gonna do is uh, this is the old wing and I've used this <coughs> I've used this as a, as a guide and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and cut this this is an old one so it doesn't matter <clears throat> but when the new wing comes I have to cut a piece out so what I'm going to do is a test tomorrow and I'll do it on film where I take take this out with the with this uh, plasma cutter and as you can see I can use that as a guide to cut all the way around so I'll give it a go with this and I'm going to also use a metal a jigsaw but with a metal blade in it and we'll see which is better I mean obviously I think this will be better um, but the, I want to see what it's like with a jigsaw because most people have a jigsaw as long as it doesn't make the edge but I'll do it on an old one so it doesn't matter um, I have a feeling it might rip the metal because it's quite thin anyway we'll do that tomorrow so if you want to look in tomorrow that's uh, that's what's coming up and some work on the on the so bye for now take care and thanks for watching in bye